How quickly we forget. When gas prices skyrocketed to more than $4 a gallon last summer, Americans quickly learned about the need to reduce our reliance on oil and gas. We even drove less. But when the price at the pump returned to a more comfortable level, Americans shifted their concerns to other matters like the plummeting economy and started hitting the road again. At the same time, even as we talk about the need to curb global warming, energy companies are making plans to build new coal plants which spew pollutants and harmful gases that contribute to global warming. In fact, Americans consume 25% of the world's oil, but we sit on only 3% of the world's oil reserves. Similarly, America is the second largest producer of harmful greenhouse gases in the world, behind China. We emitted 5.9 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide in 2006, compared to 6 billion metric tons by China. We can't keep drilling forever and building more coal plants. It has to stop. There are three things we must do. First, we should make cars go farther on a gallon of gas and get more of our cars running on electricity instead of petroleum. Right now, cars are required to get 27.5 miles per gallon, and light trucks and SUVs must get only 22.2 miles per gallon. The government recently changed those numbers, but not enough. The technology exists for vehicles to get much better fuel economy, as much as 40 miles per gallon. This is what the government should require, along with better incentives to get electric cars on America's roads. Second, we need to find alternate forms of energy. Fossil fuels are so yesterday. We should explore renewable energy sources like wind and solar power. In fact, the National Renewable Energy Laboratory says that the entire U.S. electricity demand could be met by renewable energy resources by 2020. Perhaps a cleaner future isn't so far out of sight. Cities like Gainesville, Florida, where the mayor and city council control the power system, are at the forefront of implementing policies to get families and businesses to install solar panels on the town's roofs. And don't be fooled by talk about clean coal. There is no such thing. No one is using it. And many people say it is unworkable and so expensive that it crowds out available funding for technologies that prove they work, like wind and solar. Nuclear isn't the answer either. It's so expensive that the industry wouldn't exist without taxpayer subsidies. Also, it creates 2,000 metric tons of high-level radioactive waste every year in the U.S. alone. We have no way to dispose of this, and it remains dangerous for hundreds of thousands of years. Nuclear power is simply too risky, too expensive, and too polluting to compete against clean wind and solar. Third, we must all be more responsible. Turn your computer off when you're finished working. Unplug the TV and DVD player because even when they are not on, they are using energy. Turn off the lights when you leave the room. Public Citizen, a national public interest organization, is working to make all these things happen. Learn how you can help. Go to www.citizen.org.